Hey guys, it is Sitspawn, and welcome back to episode 21 of my Realm Spectrum 2.5 Pontus campaign. We left off fighting a few battles with Pergamon, the Seleucids, and Armenia here. And we are about to fight the Armenians up where I started there. I'm going to take a quick look around, see if there's anything else we need to do beforehand. Let's start the script first of all. We can't quite fit everyone in there, so let's just see how many slots we have. We have seven. We have nine guys here. Okay. We'll just kind of move them right to here. Not worried about it. <clears throat> Though I wonder if we can retrain these guys anywhere nearby. Not really. Not yet. Alright, so we've got two little Seleucid half stacks here. Oh, yay, some more heavy cavalry on that one. Or at least cataphracts. Oh. How goes it over here? Hmm. I'm tempted to go for the field battle here and try to get the city, but we haven't even started running into emergency stacks yet, and we only have two armies, and they still have four cities left here, so I think we're going to try to be a little patient. Anyways, I think we should go ahead and just fight this battle with the Armenians here, now that they shouldn't be able to run away from us. Oh, and lo and behold, we cannot quite reach it, despite what it looked like. That's unfortunate. Well, hopefully we'll be able to um, either get a field battle or even better, trap them in there where they can't run away, and then make them sally out to us in a couple turns. So... <laughs> We're going to be finding some solutions here very shortly. Looks like we should get most of our troops retrained in time for it. I'd still like to take Cyprus at some point, but, uh, yeah, I don't exactly have any armies to spare right now, that's for sure. Yes, hmm. If I could just get one of these armies out in the open, nowhere near a city, I could probably take it out with not too many losses. Hmm. This wouldn't put them far beyond a full stack, so it's worth considering. And Nicomedia is not a poor city, so it would be a good one to uh, help our economy out here. But it looks like they have fairly decent troops from what I can see. Check our agency really quickly. Yes, oh, and you might have noticed the last couple episodes that the music has only been playing during the, um, the battles and not on the campaign map. It's actually a common glitch with uh, Roma Circum 2. The Eastern factions, after so many turns in the campaign, they play to, they, um, they'll start playing like one song when you first load the campaign up each time, and then they won't play music on the campaign map. And somehow, still in 2.5, they don't know what's causing it or why, or they haven't been able to fix it. So I just kind of got used to it. Normally, if I was playing on my own, I'd have my own music going, but obviously, since we're doing the Let's Play, that's not going to happen. Let's just go ahead and end the turn here. The Armenians took that fort. whoop de doo I mean, it kind of sucks because I have to pay to make those, but at the same point, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Okay, they're still just chilling by their damn cities here. Now, Assos looks tempting. I could make my way over there and try to take that, and if I succeed in luring one of their field armies out away from one of their cities, all the better, I guess. Let's go for it. And if they don't move to help, I'll just grab Assos and have another easy uh, 
Easy settlement conquered. The only problem is I'm probably going to be leaving these newly conquered settlements with fairly minimal garrisons, and once they get their relief armies, they will have um, catapult siege weapons with them. Oh, wow. They've, uh... Don't tell me they already got a relief army from me taking, like, one city. I think they did, and that's pretty stupid. I mean, maybe not. We'll see. My Lord. They just have so many troops from such a few cities. I really want them. They're rich as hell. They need to be mine. Okay. Alright, it looks like we are going to get a field battle out of this. They still have the option to retreat, so we'll just have to kill them as quickly as possible, I guess. But let's get to it. Sorry if I sound a little nasal here. I'm fairly stuffed up at the moment. Right? Alright, I think we're ready to start this battle here. Okay, I am going to go ahead and... Um, triple speed this. They only have the one unit of horse archers on the battlefield at the moment. The rest of theirs are coming in from as reinforcements here. So let's just speed through this. A little, little more speedily, please. Alright, they're just going to run back and forth like the AI always does here. That's fine. Let's see, where is the main army at? Right there? Okay. Looks like they're going to have a pretty decent hill advantage on me. Gosh, why does it do that? There we go didn't group like I wanted. I think we're going to try to run everyone up to about here. Come on. Here. At least try to get some kind of flat ground here rather than being at the bottom of the hill. We'll take a little bit of uh, fire when we're getting into position, but that's okay. Even if they send a couple units to challenge us, they don't really have much that's going to be a problem in this army. Good lord. It's not even in the same order it was in earlier, that makes no sense. Wow, they're destroying us missile-wise. Right now we really need to get this to going. You guys go over here. What? What in God's name just happened? That did not keep the order I wanted it to have. Alright. Not even pausing it for the battle here, guys. Sorry if that's frustrating. I'm just not sure why it's being stupid here. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, we need to advance our infantry line. They're slaughtering us with missiles. And we probably need to swing around and start hitting them quickly with our cavalry. This is not a missile battle that's going well for us, so I'd rather not sit here and trade missiles for too much longer. Alright, we're just going to go close formation and charge into these Nakarars. They're heavily depleted and two units of Cappadocians will be more than enough to take care of them. Especially if we get a nice little surround on them. Okay, they charge their bodyguards right in here, which is actually, you know what, that could be good for us. You guys keep trying to sneak around the flank here. You guys charge in right there. 
archers switch targets to everyone focusing these horde archers here. Oh crap. Full Nakarar unit here. Did not see that. Let's back off. I'd much rather use our javelins to uh, take out their armor from a distance. Oh guys, this is an extremely messy battle, but as long as I am the threat from the Armenians here for the moment, I'm not really worried about it. Holy! What? Oh wow. I was not paying attention. They sent their bodyguard over here. My guys are just sitting there getting slaughtered. Well, hopefully we can turn that around. Jesus. I am sucking this up, guys. I am sorry. Throw your spears, come on. No? Okay, sure, there you go. Hold your ground. Let's hit him in the back, guys, come on. What's going on over here? Got some more bodyguards. How many generals did they have? Maybe just two, but it seems like a ton. Alright, these Nakaras, I've said before, they're just plain scary. They're destroying my guys. Looks like we're finally starting to take them down now that they're surrounded, but they've dealt us some serious casualties. Over here, looks like we are getting destroyed by this bodyguard unit even with our numerical advantage so we are going to try to get this general before he has a chance to run away I don't want any of this army to really escape what do we have left here? Let's have my archers stop firing. They're probably just going to do more friendly fire damage than anything right now. Just killing some pop lights here. And hopefully we'll be able to finish this general unit off. I don't know why my Cappadocians are doing so terribly. I mean, I guess they could have just been exhausted when they started the fight. Alright, well this battle is basically over. These hoplites might be the last guys that are still fighting. Let's take them out. Let's get the slingers in the back here. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. See who hits him first. My slingers are cavalry. Probably my cavalry. My slingers aren't even set up yet. Either way, as long as they see the right on the wall and the routes. Yep, there we are. So who else is still fighting? Oh, uh, these guys are just retreating. They're, um, oh wow, they had some units that didn't even come into the fight again. That's so weird. Oh well. We got the lion's share of their army. We took 33% casualties, which is pretty pathetic, but... Oh well. I mean, this army was just kind of makeshift anyway, so I'll probably just disband most of it for now. I'll probably keep some of it intact, but... 
Alright, is the battle over or what? There we go. This is a All right. fit for the gods, a day of triumph to mark with a song or two. You know what? A victory's a victory. They're dead, they're gone. I'll take it. Alright, it looks like we even managed to trap what's left of them in the fort, and for some reason their guy is standing in the middle of the flag. That's kinda hilarious. So yeah, we're just going to besiege this and I don't know, we might attack or we might just wait it out and let them come to us and destroy them regardless. Okay. Well, that's one front taken care of here for the moment, at least. That's nice. A little less pressure on us. And the Seleucids appear to have backed off as well. This is, this is looking much better for us at the moment. Got a lot of rebels wandering around our land, but until I clear out some of our actual enemies, it's not going to be a, much of a priority here. I can't really afford to strip armies away from the battlefronts. Could I make it to here if I wanted? No. Not quite. Uh. Even if I wanted to attack somewhere with this army, and I kind of would like to go after Ephesus, I don't just want to leave this whole flank open to uh, getting besieged. Yes, but let's see if we have enough money to um, buy ourselves that royal palace yet. Not quite. Next turn we should, though. We should be able to at least get one of those started. Keep our cities from getting too pissed off at us. Okay, um, I don't think there's a whole lot left to do here. My lord, my lord. I kind of want to bring this spy back over somewhere where he's going to be a little more useful. Maybe just got out our many as position here really quickly. And then I'm probably going to send him over this way and use him against... Pergamon, because I really do want this to be my main focus. As soon as I get this taken care of, everything else in this campaign is going to be so much easier. I'll have a lot more money, and I will have much more secure borders. Sir! My lord! Oh, can you guys not retrain down here? You can't. Sir! We'll head up this way. We will... Train ourselves a unit of heavy pelts to take their place. Sir, and you guys go into yes, the city and retrain as well. Alright, good. Didn't really cost anything. We'll still have more than enough next turn for that royal palace. At least the first of the two. Hopefully we didn't get another city to expand. That would be hilariously annoying. Make a quick save, and we will end the turn. Huh. <sighs> Pergamon blockaded Laodicea. It's a bit out of the way. Awesome, they did not reinforce Assos, so that city is basically ours this turn. If we're lucky that will spring some of the rest of their armies into... Oh, we got an imposter. I need to see where that was at. Someone's not happy with us. <coughs> One of our client states has a uh, family member in control. Alright, sorry about that guys. Let's continue trying to find this imposter here. That's really going to hurt public order wherever he is, so... We need to make sure we find that. And if I hadn't clicked past it, we could have just gone to the location, but 
I sobbed right as I closed the damn scroll. Aw, that's no good. Poor, poor bureaucratic skill in our uh, governor and our capital. That's really hurting our income. Huh. It's not you, is it? Ooh. I forgot to destroy that. Yay, extra money. Okay, yeah, I know. You're a client state ruler. It's not you. wonder if it's you. Nope. Um, must be you. Maybe, am I imagining things, or did someone just lose the imposter trait? No, you're not a, you're not a client region. You might be. You are an autonomous city, so it's probably Mithridates here. I swear I wasn't just imagining things. I mean, it, it could have just been that one of my guys lost that trait. Oh, nope. It was probably you. They are extremely pissed at you. Yep, that's you. I don't know how I overlooked Apamea. But it is time for you to go. Can you move? Oh, here you are. Okay get you out of there. Oh yeah. That makes all the difference in the world. Do I have an actual governor, not a family member, who's not ruling his city right now, or who can trade with this guy? I'm curious here. You would do terrible, never mind. Well, I might just have to train a general here in a second. First things though, get that started. You go ahead and make a general. Um, My Lord. You just chill out there. Okay, we've got the Armenians besieged here. They've got another little tiny army, but if they want to try to relieve them, we'll still have enough to take care of them. Mm, and we're going to send one more pike unit over here just to reinforce my battered infantry. And. Right. Let's go ahead and take Assos here. I'm going to make a quick save. And let's get to it. And it's not much, but I'll fight it on the battlefield. I'll just give you guys the highlights here. So I'll see you in just a second. Alright guys, we're getting a little bit of combat here going, so I'll go ahead and play for the moment. I'm just kind of battering a hole in their wall really quickly. I don't even think I need to do more than like one opening. And we're just going to take out these towers here to minimize casualties. And our archers are shooting these... Um, Directi hoplite epilectoi units. Which we can make the exact same unit. Ours are just skinned differently. We have one right here. Oh, I guess they're not the exact same unit, but they're basically the same things you can tell. Okay, well it looks like they're running away, so I'll get back to you here once I'm towards the city square. There probably won't be much to show until then. Alright. Oh, uh, crap. Well, I was going to play because I thought we were going nice, to get a nice little chance for a close-up. They're just going to run away, so I'm going to try to throw some spears in their back as they do. See if we can get a couple cheap kills. No? Guy's going to throw? Ah, there we go. No need to charge. Oh, and we might still get our fight here. 
But if we do, I'll give some nice little close-ups here just for the fun of it to entertain you guys. Nope. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to just move our troops right in here. And we're probably just going to uh, triple speed most of this until we get to the actual battle here. And just do that instead of cutting away to save some uh, editing. Because the AI never seems to know whether they're going to fight or not. So just bear with me here. I'll try to keep this quick. would like to keep my casualties at a minimum here since I need to... Uh, keep this army in the field for a while so I would like to get everything in place before I rush into the town square and start grinding it out with them so we'll be a little patient here alright really quickly just make sure everything's in place over here it looks like it is you guys, just get out of the way here. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. All right, that should have all the units I'm using nice and selected up at the front here for me, so I don't have to waste time selecting the wrong units. We're just going to go back to triple speed while they get in place, and we'll start the battle here in just a few seconds. <laughs> Good lord. Cavalry uh, pathfinding this is so ridiculous. Okay. Definitely time to spring into action here. You guys try to line up right about here. You guys definitely pull back this way. What are you doing? Okay, pull back this way. Come on, just just pull back. It's all good. Ignore him. Alright, now you can rush in since he's surrounded, but I seriously have no idea what you guys are doing. Oh, let's turn fire at Will off. I don't want to get friendly fire here. Okay, you guys engage them. You guys come here and engage them. Oh my gosh, you guys weren't even coming the right direction here. The enemy general flees. Well, there we go. That's the general taken care of. Pretty easy there. The enemy general is slain. Get a close there. Basilicoid. Peltastati. Pretty sweet looking units. And they're just kind of sitting there facing away from me while my... The Rakatai's stab them in the backs. I can deal with that. Oh. Are they gonna throw a volley of javelins at me from point blank range? Or just sit there looking pretty? Okay, fine with me. Cavalry, let's try to get you lined up here. What are you guys doing? Get over here. Good lord. Alright, you know what? Come on, guys. I don't want to lose, like, half of you getting stuck on them. I am taking a few more casualties than I'd like over here. Uh, come on. we got to be quicker about this. All right. What is going on? Sure, you know what? You just get the hell out of here. Since you clearly don't know what you're doing. And you guys charge right in here. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, this should minimize our casualties a bit. I'm going to pull this unit back out before they take too many more casualties and switch them in. 
How are you guys doing? You guys are getting handily slaughtered since you're not really using your swords for some reason. At least most of you aren't. Alright, General, you pull back. I don't want to lose you for no good reason. Let's get another charge lined up here. <coughs> Alright, that should help us out a lot. Their numbers are drastically reduced. You guys can stop running now if you're going to stop being stupid. Oh, did you actually break when I had you retreat? No, you didn't. I wouldn't have been shocked, but... Alright, let's see if we can finish them off with this charge. Okay, well, they're all kind of packed in like sardines here, but they should be dead any moment now. They're not spear armed, so they really won't do much damage against my cavalry. Especially not as experienced and upgraded as they are. But this serves nicely for some good close-ups. And this battle is almost over. So it looks like I'd say I've taken about 3% casualties. Most of those on my Thoracti. A couple, couple cavalry men probably died, but not many. Yeah. Yeah. Not too many. Most of those probably in the confusion on my unit getting stuck. Alright. One to more city under our command, guys. After quite a few episodes where we didn't really do much conquering, it seems like. Alright. Works with me. Alrighty. Assos is ours. And we're definitely going to depopulate the settlement because it is not very happy with us, so this will give us some extra cash, which we desperately need. It'll let us uh, get the public order to a reasonable state. So let's go ahead and destroy this communal tribute here. Destroy this elite. Are you done, game? Okay, yeah, destroy that elite army base. Destroying buildings is so damn loud. Let's repair the walls here. And first things first, we're just gonna build like three things of levy pikemen there. And that'll cover a garrison for the moment. Let's just go ahead and grab like rural community control and tribal justice just for some cheap some cheap public order buildings there. It doesn't appear to have roads yet, but that's fine. Sometimes the A AI is a little less likely to attack you if you don't have roads, so you know I don't think it's gonna make that big a difference, but I'll take any advantage we can get. Let's see what mercenaries are available here to help hold the city. Looks like we have a pretty decent mix of um, some basic Greek type units along with some uh, couple of heavy spearmen, which are basically the same as the Tricomi heavy spearmen we have in our other army fighting Armenia. Pretty handy to have, but we don't need them at the moment. So I think we're going to hold off on hiring any mercenaries there. I do think we'll build a little uh, watchtower right here. And head back, and looks like the Ptolemies are definitely... Uh, Still holding on to Lysimachaea, to say the least. Not really expanding from there either, but I've never really expected them or seen them to expand up there, so 
Now, Pergamon is down to three settlements. So, despite their um, already large army size, I would not be surprised to see them get some emergency armies here. So, we really need to start taking out their armies here soon. Are you a night fighter? You are. The real question is, are you guys night fighters? And I have no idea on him. And I have no idea on him. So I might want to get a spy up here and find out. Because if they aren't knife fighters, I might be able to just use this army to take out those armies one by one in night battles rather than having to fight them all at once. And that would be a very useful way for me to avoid large scale battles while still being able to pare their numbers down a bit. Okay. I think we might leave a garrison there and make Ephesus our next target and see if we can't just grab that out from under them. If I have the money, I might even just make some AI reinforcements here to help out, just to minimize the casualties that I actually care about. But we'll see. It's kind of expensive, and I do need to build that second Royal Palace here when I get the chance. See where it looks like it's at a uh, Heraclea. Needs a counselor's chambers. Okay, yep, that's the only city that needs to expand right now is Heraclea. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> but you know, I think this might not actually be the worst spot to end this episode at for now. I might go ahead and just record another one, but I don't want to get these too long. Like, this one's probably close to 50 minutes or so at least right now. I don't want to get them over an hour in length. But, um, you know, thanks for watching, you guys. We will continue our conquest of Asia Minor here next episode. And uh, thanks for watching.